Hello, and welcome to the Big Podcast Equipment Guide. This is a small series of videos where I will explain what devices you will need to record a podcast if you want to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or up to 10 participants, including up to 4 remote guests over the phone, or Skype, or Zoom. I will also explain how to set a phone into use on various devices using the much feared Mix Minus. Let's get on with it. There's a huge and growing array of equipment you can use for podcasting. Whichever you choose to use, the biggest headache for beginner podcasters is normally around how to set up remote guests for a phone interview or a Skype or Zoom interview. Quite confusing, maybe downright intimidating. Let me help you. Disclaimer, my primary goal with this video series is to save you from digging into user manuals, reading countless blog posts, forums, and watching endless hours of YouTube videos trying to figure out which equipment is best suited for what. I don't actually have owned or have used all of these devices, but I have been reading all the user manuals, watched most of the useful YouTube tutorials about them, and digged into forums as well as checked their prices to find out which one is best suited for which podcasting scenario in terms of number of persons participating. It is however still possible that here and there I could be mistaken, so I encourage you to do your homework as well. I will however definitely help you narrow down the list of device choices quite a bit. With that disclaimer out of the way, Let's get into it. What I'm about to explain in this video is how to connect a smartphone to a mixer and set up the mix minus for interviewing someone over the phone using IK Multimedia's beloved iRig2 guitar adapter. In fact, the very reason why I have made this separate video about it is exactly the same reason why I have temporarily removed all other videos of the channel as connecting the iRig2 in the right way is such an essential building block for the Mixminus on many podcasting equipment setups. All of these videos will come back shortly, along with the full Big Podcast Equipment Guide for 2021. To start off, however, and lay the groundwork, let us discuss what is the Mixminus and why the iRig2 is the essential device to make it possible. To record a remote interview for your podcast, the single most important term that you'll need to familiarize yourself with is Mix Minus. As a quick reminder on what is a Mix Minus, when recording a phone interview, you are not actually speaking into your phone, but into a microphone. To lead all the voices into your recording device, you will need to combine your voice and your guest's voice, so you will apply a mixer, which is integrated into many recording devices nowadays, so you won't necessarily see a mixing board, but for the sake of understanding the Mix Minus, let's showcase it with a mixing board. Your voice goes into the mixer. The voice of your guest from the phone also goes into the mixer. What a mixer does is that it combines everything that goes into it and creates a single stereo track of them so that you can record and also monitor everything. However, your guest at the moment hears nothing, as again, you are not talking into the phone but into the mic. So you need to route your voice back into the phone for the guest to hear you. The problem is that by default the mixer sends out, well, a mix of all the voices, which also includes the guest's voice, which in return creates an annoying feedback echoing into the guest's ears while talking. So you'll need to remove their voice from the mix that is sent back to them. In other words, what they will receive is the full mix minus their own voice. And that is mix minus. If the single most important term for recording phone interviews is the mix minus, then the single most important hardware to set up a mix minus, wherever it's not built in, is the iRig2. The iRig2 is originally meant to be a guitar interface for smartphones, but it has turned out that it just as well serves the purpose of setting up a mix minus between phones and mixers. The iRig2 is a great adapter to connect the phone to a mixer. In fact, it is the most essential piece of gear to set up the hardware-based Mix Minus, and ironically, also the cheapest for around 33 euros. Connecting the phone to a mixer sounds as easy as coming out from the iRig2's amplifier output port into the mixer, and coming back into the guitar mark port while the other end is connected to the phone. And then it does all the necessary attenuation to the phone signal so that the mixer can deal with it. In many video tutorials, I see people come out from the iRig2 from the headphone mark port this is of course possible, in fact, the manufacturer's site recommends it, however, the manufacturer's site also warns you to, quoting, to avoid feedback, always use the 8-inch stereo jack to dual RCA, 
or dual quarter inch mono jack cables, never use stereo headphone 8 inch to quarter inch adapters or splitters. Now, the slight issue with this is that you may not have a stereo input free on your mixer, or available at all like in the case of the Zoom L8, that is if you want to use its best features. So I was looking for a better solution where I don't have to turn a stereo output back to mono externally. Turns out that the quarter inch amplifier output does just that. As long as the through slash FX switch on the side of the iRig is switched to FX, the same signal is routed through the amplifier output as through the headphone port as confirmed by IK Multimedia Q&A pages. And there you go. As the amplifier output is a simple mono unbalanced DS output, you have your mono signal that you can deal with much easier. Also, in my testings, I actually got better results when connecting the iRig through its amplifier output instead. Not only is it a simple mono TS quarter inch jack instead of a splitter stereo cable with 3.5mm or 8 inch plug at one end and a dual quarter inch plug at the other end, so consequently it also occupies less inputs on the mixing board. In fact, you can actually plug it into a mono input or a combo jack, which becomes important when you want to do multi track recording on the Anandan Heat ZI10 or the Soundcraft Notepad 12 effects, which have, let's say, a selective approach as to what they can send out as discrete audio track through USB for multi track recording. But it also results in a stronger signal so that the recording can be louder. So here's how I recommend to use it for setting up the mix minus. First, click the through slash FX switch to FX on the side of the iRig 2. The easy bit is that you need to plug the iRig 2 into your phone, likely using an adapter. Then at the classic mix minus setup, you will need to come out from the aux send port on the mixer back to the iRig 2's guitar labeled input. That is the easy part. Now, to lead the guest's voice from the phone into the mixer, your best bet would be to come out from the amplifier output port on the iRig 2, which is, for the record, an unbalanced mono TS output, and lead it into a line input on the mixer using a simple quarter inch or 6.35mm TS mono jack cable. In my example, you could plug it into any of these line inputs. The cables you would use for both connections, that is, into and from the mixer, is a standard quarter inch TS mono audio cable. Then to make sure that you are not sending the caller's voice back to them, look down on the channel strip of where you have plugged in the iRig 2 for the aux labeled knob and turn it fully down, so all the way to the left. And make sure that the same knobs for all other channels are turned up at least to the middle, so to the unity level. Whatever channel is turned up will be sent out through the iRig 2 and into the phone. What you don't want is to send the caller their own voice back, and that's why you will need to turn it down. The mix minus is set up, you'll need your own microphone to lead your voice into the mixer and an audio interface to record it to your recording app. I'm diving into it in a little more detail in the podcasting mix minus on an analog mixer video. With that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to learn what devices you will need to record a podcast. If you want to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or up to 10 participants, including up to 4 remote guests over the phone or Skype, and learn how to set up phone interviews on various devices with Mix Minus. Take care!